God morning to you. God is saying, stop. Stop thinking. Stop what you're doing right now. Sit down in silence. Sit back into the silence and close your eyes. In silence, don't think a thought. Stop. Breathing just for a moment. Hold your breath. And feel me. Holding you. Carrying you. As that breath flows out, you can still feel me loving you. Being you. Sit up now. Into me. There is nothing but me. And you practice this thought, but you include everything but you. You see the good in everyone and everything but you. You see the God in them. I'm here too. The only reason you feel stuck like something is blocking you, is because you don't stop. You don't pause and pray. This stopping, this pausing is prayer. It is practice. It's prosperous. Yogananda says, in my life, I have seen the most wonderful demonstrations of God's response to prayer. I urge you to pray not for little things, but for his presence, this presence, your real presence. Only that prayer is worthwhile. If you are willing to sacrifice an hour or two of sleep for meditation every night, you will enter the kingdom of God. Don't watch the time. With deep sincerity, pray, Lord, I want you alone. And Joel Goldsmith says, let's say you have 10 minutes, just 10 minutes to shut out the world. 10 minutes away from the telephone, 10 minutes for contemplating God and the things of God, 10 minutes for spiritual realization. Remember, the world outside does not have the capacity to give even 10 minutes to this. It's only those who have in some measure been touched by the Spirit of God who have the capacity to sit for 10 minutes in this contemplation. Hear these words as if they are your own, your own inner voice. What have I in my house? I have the full measure of Christ's peace. I have all that the Father has, for the Father has given his allness unto me. God has even breathed into me his life. Therefore, I have in my consciousness life eternal. I, the Christ, am come that I might have life and that I might have it abundantly. I have in my house, in my consciousness, life and life abundant, infinite life, eternal life. I have an infinity of supply because the Christ reveals that my heavenly Father knows that I have need of all these things and that it is his good pleasure to give me the kingdom. I have the kingdom of God within me and this is the kingdom of all that I shall ever need. I have in my consciousness eternal life, infinite supply, divine peace. And he says, as you contemplate this for five or 10 minutes each day, you carry into your world the awareness of all that God is and all that God has as a gift that has been bestowed upon you by the grace of God. Since you have contemplated this, you have brought the peace that passes understanding into that room, into your life and into the lives of everyone that is blessed enough to know you to see you, to walk past you today. Let us pray. These are Jesus' words to your soul. And when I must lead you on a path different from the one you see, I will prepare you. I will carry you in my arms. I will let you find yourself like children who have fallen asleep in their mother's arms on the other bank of the river. What troubles you and hurts you immensely are your reason, your thoughts and worry, and your desire at all costs to deal with what afflicts you. And now we pray ten times. 
O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything and make this last one count. Fill it with your whole soul. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And now our concluding prayer. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. Satchitananda Swami says chanting or praying with a mantra is an offering of the heart, a heart filled with feelings of humility, a desire to surrender, and a sincere service attitude. How will you serve today? Pope Francis says the saints are not supermen, nor were they born perfect when they recognized God's love. They followed it and served others. You've recognized his love, and you will begin to recognize your service, how it will uniquely show up there where you are. Keep your eyes open today. Watch how you are inspired to move who you are inspired, to speak to, to bless, even if only silently, instead of being lost in thought of yourself, of your concerns, your life. Look out and bless everyone. Those eyes see, look at them through the eyes of Christ. See them as the Christ, not even needing to be blessed, to be healed, to be changed. They are perfection that blesses them, that heals them, that changes them in a way you may never see. You'll likely never see those ones again, but their lives will be changed because of how you see, because of how you're being, because of who you are. Because God is who he is. I am. In Corinthians it says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. The love of God, the Christ of God. Nothing is the same. Do you hear me? Don't judge by appearances. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what your mind thinks it is. Stop. And he starts. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.